you guys aren't going to make us wait too much longer. What can you tell us, though, to hold us over till the premiere? Because it's been long enough. Really. I know. It's been long enough because we've just been making the best season ever. Oh, yeah. Ever. 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 Ever, ever. Ever, ever. ever, ever. Forever, ever. ever. That's what she said. Really? Right? Yes. yes. OK, so is that our tease? The best season ever. Yeah, it's really, ever. It's really good. Yeah. Without telling us anything, because I know you can't, is are you all happy with the way you think with the outcome of the show? Personally, are you the biggest show? Are you happy with how things ended? Yes. Huh? <laughs> she didn't say yes. You didn't say yes. Best season ever. <laughs> it's the best. Were there actual like palpable moments of of this? Cast and crew at that last table read? Of course. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be a terrible last season. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel, I've just been like deadpan, like nothing happened. Yeah. The fray, it's a little bit Avengers Assemble, it's a little bit kind of like. Well, that was totally what season seven was all about, yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, character development? Nah. <laughs> Lob it all Story. in. Story. <laughs> but it. I really need to shut You're up. You're brave. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrifying down there. We're in a crypt. Nobody thought of that. He's bringing all the dead people back to life, and they put the women and children in a crypt with all the dead people. So, rah. Tyrion is smart, but I guess not that smart. If you could describe the season finale of Game of Thrones in one word, how would you describe it? Disappointing. <laughs> Disappointing? <laughs> No, epic. I don't epic. know. One of those ones. You know, if you've planned your book that the butler did it, and then you read an internet, someone has figured out that the butler did it, and you suddenly change in midstream, and it was the chambermaid who did it, mm. then you screw up the whole book because you get these this foreshadowing early on, and you've got these little clues you planted. Now they're dead ends, and you have to introduce other clues, and you're retconning. It's a mess. We hope to kind of avoid the expected, and Jon Snow has always been the hero, the one who's been the savior, but it just didn't seem right to us for this for this moment. How do you feel about the way that it ends? Um. There are no better writers in television than Dan Weiss and David Benioff. They ended it brilliantly, better than I could have imagined, and uh, you people are in for it. <laughs> uh, could you give us your, uh, into the camera, your facial expressions, what it was like reading the, the last episode for the first time? What it was like reading the last episode for the first yeah, time Like the just... different stages you went through. I mean, it's pretty much one stage. You okay. Know, just... Huh? That's it.